what is the difference between a pojagi and a furoshiki? So pojagi is a Korean word and furoshiki is a Japanese word. And both of those are words for a wrapping cloth. So a wrapping cloth is a piece of fabric that's usually square that's used to wrap items, most commonly to carry them or to give them as gifts. Now, as far as I am aware, a furoshiki is only ever a single piece of fabric. Sometimes it is printed with designs. Sometimes both sides are different so that you can get some beautiful effects when you're wrapping, but it is just a piece of fabric. Pojagi, on the other hand, has a lot more variations. So the one thing with Pojagi is sometimes it has a tie on it. So we can see this Pojagi that I made has this tie and that would be used to help secure the item when it's wrapped. Sometimes they might also have two ties and sometimes they would have up to four ties, one on each corner. And this was used with traditional Pajagi that were used to cover tables. And so the ties would attach onto the table legs to help secure it onto the table. Another variation with Pajagi is sometimes they are made with patchwork. And uh, this technique is called Jogakbo. It comes from ancient times when some women that didn't have the resources to get large pieces of fabric, they would have taken scraps of fabric that they had and stitched those together to um, get pretty designs and to make nice wrapping cloths. So this piece is made with two layers of fabric. So we can see on this side, it has the patchwork. And then on the other side, it has a backing or a lining similar to Western quilts. This Pajagi also has two ties on it. So this is an example of one form of patchwork Pajagi. But there is another form of patchwork that's very distinctive to Pajagi. And this is Pajagi that is made with only one layer of fabric. So the seams are finished on both sides. So the whole piece is totally reversible. And this is a type of patchwork that I haven't seen anywhere else. It was a beautiful way to be able to use scraps to make wrapping cloths in different designs. So no matter what you call it, wrapping items with fabric is a great sustainable way to cut back on single use paper and plastics and beautifully use fabric to carry things and to give gifts. For more information about Pujagi, including tutorials on how to make them and different ideas for wrapping different shapes, be sure to follow Ibida Studio. Mm -hmm.